In question 10, the problem statement says, find the smallest square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 8, 15 and 20. So we have to find the smallest perfect square number which is a multiple of each of these three numbers 8, 15 and 20. So this question is similar to the previous question of this exercise and just like in that question we will solve this question in two steps. In the first step we will find the LCM of these three numbers 8, 15 and 20 because we want the end result to be divisible by each of these three numbers. So we will find the LCM of these three numbers but the LCM itself may not be a perfect square. So in step 2 we will find a multiplier by which to multiply that LCM to get a perfect square and the resulting number will be our answer. So let's carry out both of these steps. So in step 1 we have to find the LCM. To find the LCM let's write the prime factorized form of each of the three numbers. So 8 is 2 into 2 into 2, 15 is 3 into 5 and then 20 is 2 into 2, 4 into 5. So the LCM, for the LCM you will have to consider each prime factor and find out the maximum occurrence of each prime factor. So the prime factor 2 occurs 3 times in 8. So the LCM should have 3 repetitions of 2. Then 3 occurs once in 15. So the LCM should have 1 occurrence of 3. And then 5 occurs once in 15 and once in 20. So the LCM should have 1 repetition of 5. So this is our LCM. Let's write it again on the right side for step 2. The LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Okay, now we can clearly see that the LCM is not a perfect square because if we pair up the prime factors, we have one pair of 2 but then this 2 is unpaired, this 3 is also unpaired and this 5 is also unpaired. So the LCM is clearly not a perfect square. To convert it into a perfect square, we will need to complete this pair of 2 by multiplying by 2. We will need to complete the pair of 3 by multiplying by 3 and then the pair of 5 by multiplying by 5. So if we take the LCM multiplied by 2 and 3 and 5, what will we get? We will get this uh, number 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, that's 2 repeated 4 times, into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. And now this is a perfect square because all the prime factors can be paired up. So the smallest number which will be not just a multiple of two of 8, 8, 15 and 20 but will also be a perfect square is this number that we have written here and this is our answer. So let's find out the numerical value of this product. So this will be equal to 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 2 is 16. So the 2's multiply to 16 then 3 into 3 is 9 and then 5 into 5 is 25. So 16 into 9 is 144, 144 into 25 is 3600. So the smallest number which is divisible by each of these three numbers 8, 15 and 20 and which is also a perfect square is this number 3600 and this is the answer for question number 10. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.